James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is August 9th, 2022, 6 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had five plus earthquakes on the Cascadia subduction zone just today. This is an area where the Pacific Plate is pushing the Juan de Fuca Plate under the North American Plate, pushing magma up into this Cascadia volcanic range, the Snake River Caldera, and even Yellowstone Caldera, along with, I'm sure, other places on the west coast of the United States and Canada. Please note that this uh, Juan de Fuca Plate goes far up into Canada, and that's going to be responsible for several of our earthquakes. We have a 4.3 seen here. The uh, depth is 10 kilometers, which is just a default depth. It means they don't know how deep it was yet. Another earthquake in that same zone there, the Cascadia subduction zone, a 2.8. Now, if you would uh, not look, you would think that that would be it. But Canada does not report their information to the rest of the world. So you have to go to actually the Canadian government site to see what else is happening today. Jumping over to the Canadian site, we see more earthquakes today than we've seen reported ever, or at least in some time. Uh, over on the eastern side, there are at least four, maybe more. The latest earthquake is here circled in purple. And that was a 2.5 at 18 kilometers of depth. Jumping over to the Cascadia subduction zone. Lots of action here, including, well, several earthquakes today. A 3.6 on the subduction zone. Another 3.3 three on that subduction zone. And a 3.1 while wow. all swarming together we've seen those earthquakes prior to this now if you want to back it out just a little bit you can actually see that there's some action north of that as well all the way up into the alaskan area all this is a volcanic ridge or zone that runs all the way down the west coast of north america these are all associated with the Cascadia subduction zone. Most of this stuff is just associated with the volcanoes that are awakening in this area. So we can zoom in. That was three, four, five, six, seven, eight. At least, at least eight. There's four there, five, six, seven, eight. And this is just Canada today. And we have additional earthquakes in Canada and then remember we had two more in the US reported by the USGS so that's 10 on the Cascadia subduction zone alone volcanoes and earthquakes.com reporting this probably just by the USGS and raspberry shake is a 4.3 uh, default depth so far a fairly big quake uh, this is going to be up in Canada they actually reported uh, probably because there were three earthquakes that were all 3.0 or larger here. A 3.6, a 3.3, and a 3.1. Wow. So what we will do is we'll jump over, and we can see that plate here, the one, the Foucault plate, being pushed under the Cascadia volcanic range right here, where we have Rainier, where we have... Mount St. Helens, Adams, where we have all of the Cascadia volcanoes. We have the Snake River Caldera. We have the Yellowstone Caldera. This is all a volcanic range, several ranges, as a matter of fact, Sierra Nevada. Now, the San Juan Mountains, which are actually volcanic as well. So you can see, let's get some additional information on this 4-3 here. They're calling it a moderate 4.3. And let's see how strong she was. Not very. 42.5 tons of TNT. More than I want to sit on. And again, reported by only the USGS, the Europeans, 
and Raspberry Shake, all really one and the same organization. So we've had 10 earthquakes, 10 earthquakes on the Cascadia subduction zone today or in the last 24 hours at least. That's going to be more than I've ever seen occur. This is going to be due to the heavy solar winds we're experiencing now. We've been in a solar disturbance all day long. And eventually those plates are going to start moving and they are doing so. 10 plus earthquakes in the Cascadia subduction zone alone today. God bless you and yours, folks. Share and subscribe. Always remember, anything is possible in Bizarro World.